Hi everyone, I'm going to start talking about the WS Shack plugin. It's going to be version 0.14 by the time I've released it today. Um, so, the WS Shack plugin is for Growls. How do you install it? Where do you get it from? First of all, you need to install Growls um, and get that up and running. You'll need JDK as well to get Growls working. Um, to get the plugin, you go to Growls.org, you go to plugins, you search for WS Chat. Um, to actually install it in a development sort of environment you will need that line which will be 14 soon to get hold of more information um, click on the documentation source which will take you to uh, the github project for this uh, I'm hosting it's on my project list uh, the most probably important thing is if you're going to do this uh, as a sort of a custom thing within your own application is to go to the wiki and within the wiki click on merging plugin and that will give you that information there um, the configuration information um, so disable login you'll see in a minute what this is um, if you don't want people to gain access and sort of give random nicknames then disable it here in your config.groovy I'm not going to be using this I was going to use this as a way of enabling disabling permissions but what I've ended up doing is I've gone to my test project in my bootstrap I've added an admin group and I've created a couple of users and I've given them permissions I'm going to update the documentation for the plugin and add this in so you guys can see this as well and use it for your own sort of users that you want to be as part of the admin group um, okay besides that um, what we've done is, so yeah, to get this up and running, what you would do is from that Grails plugin page, um, you would take the compile line, add it to your plugins bit here, plugin dependencies. I'm not using it because I'm still using a sort of uh, development copy uh, for this example video. Anyway, so that's running. Um, it gives you this URL. If we go to it, uh, this is your default sort of uh, Growl website that was going to load up in a minute. And what you will have with the plugin is an extra controller called WS Chat Controller. Upon clicking this, what you will see is what you see here. Um, so if we log in, so what we've done is, as you've seen, we've created Firefox to be an admin, Chrome is an admin. Midori is not going to be an admin, it's going to be a normal user. So the difference between these users are going to be Firefox can ban, kick, as well as do all the other stuff. So can uh, Chrome, uh, whereas Midori can only block, can't ban or kick users. So let's get going. So if someone sends a message, Firefox sends it, everyone gets it. If uh, Firefox decides to be uh, informative, or sorry, wants to talk to uh, Chrome, so, Chrome gets a message, Midori's sitting here idle. Uh, if Chrome messages back, and, uh, he gets it, he sends it. If uh, Midori is getting bored and wants to message Chrome, Oh, that's the profile, sorry. Um, if, uh, PM's Chrome. Chrome gets it. Sorry, it's just to do with the window sizes, but yeah, you, you, you get what I mean. If, if the message is uh, Firefox, Firefox gets it. Um, and then um, here, what we can do is if you watch, uh, if, if uh, Firefox doesn't like Midori and is busy, hey. Uh, Midori is stressing me out. Too many PMs. I mean, I don't know, it's only been two. So, what you decide to do is put, uh, block Midori. Midori gets blocked. Uh, it can close down if you want, but if Midori now tries to message Firefox, what happens is Firefox doesn't get the message, and over here you can see the message has been blocked for Midori and he's told Midori. Uh, so, Firefox closes it down. If um, Midori, if 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 Firefox is now ready and Midori wants to join, well, Midori won't know how long uh, the block is on for. It. All they'll know is they've been blocked. 
if if Midori now tries to message Firefox now that the block is over, um, it will work. See, they get it. Um, but yeah, the, the, that, that's up to the end user on how long they want to block this user. You don't want to tell them, oh, you've been blocked for two minutes, and then they start bugging the person again. So anyway, that's that bit. Um, if uh, Firefox likes Chrome and wants to add him to the list, adds him, and what happens is Chrome gets a different colour. As you saw, if Midori gets blocked, there's a different colour, goes red. So the reds are, when they appear at the bottom, are the blocked list. Yellows or gold are the are your friends list. Um, and there's really no difference between that. It's just the feature that's been added on. It just goes a different colour and sits at the top. Um, so, some other features now. If... Um, if uh, Firefox doesn't like Midori at all and wants to kick Midori, kicks Midori, Midori gets kicked off, everyone gets to know about it, Midori doesn't see anyone, there's oh, nothing gets sent to anyone. Uh, but they've only been kicked, so they've not been banned. So if Midori comes, decides to come back in again, should be able to join. There we go, it's back in again. Uh, Firefox gets, 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 kicked, gets fed up with this and really wants to get rid of. Um, Midori because he wants he likes it with Chrome, you know, he wants to ban Midori. He says, Midori, go away, please go away for two minutes. We don't want to see you around, yeah? So it bans Midori. And uh Midori's been kicked off now, right? So everyone should be still around. Chrome is around, Firefox is around. Uh, and Midori goes, Oh, what happened? You know, I, mean, I want to go back in again. Tries to go back in and says, oh, sorry, you've been banned, and disconnects Midori again, you know. And uh, it's a bit of a bit of, bit of a sad time for Midori at the moment. It's not even much like it's been getting kicked about. So it's going to have to wait a couple of minutes. So for two minutes now, Firefox makes love to Fire Chrome and says, Firefox, hey. Oh, so Windows are a bit. Oh yeah, by the way, you can, um, if we ma maximize, maximize it, you can extend all this as well. It's, uh, it's a little bit, mm, yeah. I think if, if you're good with CSS and you want to give me a hand with this stuff, feel free, you know. Um, just, uh, just, you've, got, you've got to have a lot of time for this stuff, really. Um, anyway, so... Yes, Firefox. Right. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Has Midori had its time yet? No, Midori's still banned, you know. You're gonna have to wait for Midori to be unbanned. But yeah, these two are lover birds and uh, Chrome messages. Uh, some of the other stuff that it does as well is if you. For example, take HTML uh, and dump it into the chat room. Um, I've made it so that it parses the information out and displays it as the HTML. So that basically what you don't want it to do is people creating divs and stuff that override the chat room and then they set it all up. So that's what happens there. Midori should really be unlocked by now. And here it is. Midori can join back in again. Um, so you can see it bans it for the set period. Um, you can be different sort of permitted users. You can private message private messages of their windows. I think I've noticed after two the dimensions as in you know it doesn't line them up properly. I think there's a maximum of five you can have five PMs. Um, is there anything else on here? Uh, oh yeah, sorry, we've got one major thing now. Profiles. So, if you go to Midori's profile at the moment, it just says incomplete profile. I'm not sure why it's done that. 
Maybe it's because we're not full screen. Yeah, so it's incomplete profile for Midori. I'm going to have to have a look at that and make sure that sits properly. If we go to Firefox, which is the obviously you in blue, um, you've got two options edit profile and upload photo. So, edit profile. And what we should see is if it works. Oh my days. We got problems. I'm going to have to look at that. Upload photo. So, photos. If we create some photos for the profile. You can do as many photos as you like, um, but it will only show five for the profile. Um, beyond five, it's the last five that were updated. Beyond five, it won't show them. Uh, it's the way it's been set. So Firefox's profile now shows these pictures, and if you click the picture, you get to see the image full size. If you on point 014 I fixed it so when you click the image it closes it uh, depending on how large the image is it sort of takes it over there's problems with the model box that pops up yeah I know I'm gonna have to have a look at that at some point again um, I'd like to get edit profile working we've obviously got a problem somewhere Probably means a, a, a restart of the application as well. Uh. Um, yeah. I'm going to put it in freeze. Uh, I'm going to do another video to catch up for this bit, to do the last bit, which is the profile for this. Because uh, I don't want to redo this video again, to be honest. Um, yeah, so hang on. I'm going to come back and do, do a second part to this. Uh, and 